new to me, I'm Maeve, and this is a vinyasa flow class. It's, I would believe, listed as a level two, three. I teach it for all levels, and the idea be behind the two, three is more that you just have a familiarity to postures and concepts. Come with whatever you got today. We're going to start on our backs. If you have a strap, you can use it. If you don't, do not worry. You will be golden. Right leg is up, left leg is down, and then press leg to sky. Supporting wherever you need to. Less about pulling your leg in, more about actually pushing your leg away against the resistance of your hands or the strap. And then just take a few breaths here. There's a few phrases that get bounced around a lot. Well, there's a lot of phrases that get bounced around a lot in this practice. But this is your practice. That's one that gets used a lot, right? And what does that mean? It's your practice. Like, you can really, truly do whatever you need to do today. And if something I'm offering doesn't work, you skip it. Or you create something else from it. And then just switch sides. No fanfare, second side, we just go right in. Push the leg away. There's this equal opposition here. So for as much as I'm holding the leg with the strap or holding onto the actual leg, I'm pushing the leg away with the equal amount of force. Release that. Come onto your hands and your knees, please. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Inhale, right leg straight back in. I do toes are tucked. Good. Press the floor away and scoop the belly up a little bit. Front ribs into back ribs. From the inner right thigh, float the right leg up without arching the back at all. So what happens here is if you just lift the leg and you let your belly go, your back is going to arch, your belly is going to kind of drop toward the ground. Instead, use the right glutes to extend the leg back. So there's a lot of glute involvement here to hold that leg up. And then press the ground away a little bit more. So it can be sort of awkward to conceptualize pushing the floor away. So if you can imagine a wall is traveling at you and you're trying to press it and the cold, or like, I, this is, I've used this one before and I don't know why this one works for me, but it just does. There's a dumpster and it's rolling and you don't want it to come toward you and you're pressing it here. That's what I want. So get that dirty dumpster away from you. You're just going to press it and hold it there. That's the ground. But beautiful that the floor is not dirty or, well, hopefully not dirty, too dirty, or dumpster for that matter. Keep engaging the right glute, tuck the left toes, and then hover the left knee off the ground without anything else changing if it's possible. Keep the engagement of that right hip. Slowly start to come into three-legged dog. Check in with your breath. Smooth it out. And then right foot comes forward between your hands. Left knee comes down. And then press into the front foot, pull the front foot toward the back of your mat to rise up into Anjaneyasana. A little bit shorter stance. Yeah. Ah, very nice. And then you're pushing the front foot down, dragging it toward the back of the mat energetically. You're pushing your back knee, your back foot down, and drawing it toward the front of the mat. So there's this sense of pulling inward toward the center of your body, to the midline of your mat. Tuck the left toes if they're not already, and then just hover the left knee off the ground. Keep pulling the feet toward each other. Engage the left glutes. And then lift, lift, lift. Straighten the legs. And then back. 
bowing forward over the front leg. Use blocks if you'd like. It's not about getting your nose to your shin. Instead, see how much length you can draw to the spine and to the legs. And anytime I say straighten, it's really the intention of straightening, not the physical manifestation. Perhaps the legs straighten, but perhaps they do not. Continue to pull the feet toward each other. And then rebend the front leg. Step to plank with an inhale. Stay and breathe. Bend both of your knees. Hover both of your knees off the ground. And then both knees lightly land down. Good. Stretch your left leg back. Your toes are tucked. Press the ground away. Front ribs to back ribs. Spread the collarbone. Spread the shoulder blades. From the inner left thigh and from the left glute, lift the leg up behind you. And then as that leg goes up, notice if the back starts to arch and the belly kind of drops as if you were in uh, cow's pose. Instead, find a little bit of cat here, just that sense of the front body lifting up. And then hover the right knee off the ground, tucking the right toes under so that you may do so. And then keeping this left hip working, come into three-legged dog. So feeling the glutes working here, you're not just holding the leg up in space without the hip engaging and supporting that. Draw the knee down the center, place your left foot forward. Right knee drops down, pull the legs toward each other to rise up. Anjanayasana. Wake up the right hip. And the more you engage the right glutes and then kind of shift the hips forward, you're going to get a really good stretch in the front of that right hip and the front of that right quadricep the thigh. Keep that, the right toes are tucked, and then just hover the right knee off the ground. And then inhale, rising up, straighten the legs, and then exhale. Bowing over the front leg. Blocks if you want. And take a few breaths here. One more inhale. Rebend the front leg. Plant your hands. Step to plank with an inhale. And then exhale. Lower down to your belly. Inhale, Shalabhasana. Sweep the hands back, float the legs up. Open up the chest. Imagine you have a block behind your back and you're trying to squeeze on that block. You're not trying to hold it, you're trying to squeeze on it. And then hands by the ribs, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Hips high and back. Take a few breaths here. Lift all of your toes up. Press into the mound of the big toe, the mound of the pinky toe. And start to let the heels get heavier. And then place your toes down and give them some life. Keep the toes active and inhale, lift your heels up. Bend your knees, look where you're going. Bring your feet to your hands. Halfway up in hand. And then fold with your exhale. Rise up to stand, inhale. And then draw your hands into your heart. Exhale. Inhale. Reach up. Pick up your right knee. And then exhale. Forward fold. Take the right leg in space behind you. Like a standing split. Inhale. Heart pulls forward. Exhale. Place your right foot down. Rise to crescent. Inhale. Take a couple breaths here. Same energy as Anjana Asana. The legs draw toward each other. Yes. So good. Take a breath in. Release your hands down. Step back to plank. Inhale. To the ground with your exhale. Cobra inhale. And downward facing dog. Exhale. Right knee comes to your chest. 
Place your right foot forward. Crescent pose, inhale. One more breath in, and then bring your hands around, exhale. Listen, lift your left leg up. Lengthen, inhale. Keep the left leg lifted, fold down. Inhale, rise up to stand, pull the left knee up. And then sink into chair pose. Inhale, left knee comes right back up again. And then exhale, forward fold, left leg goes back, standing splits. Halfway inhale, left foot steps to the back of the mat. Inhale, crescent. And then exhale, hands to the ground. Step to plank. Inhale, chaturanga or the floor, exhale, your choice. Up dog, cobra, shalabhasana. Inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Left knee into your chest, place your left foot forward. Crescent, inhale. And then exhale, standing splits. Halfway inhale, hold again, exhale. Inhale, rise up, right knee lifts up as you come up. And then come back into chair. Inhale, right leg lifts up. And then hands down, right leg goes back, standing splits. Halfway, inhale. Step your right foot back. Crescent, inhale. Hands down. Pause with me, please. Straighten the front leg, inhale. And then exhale, bend the front leg. Step to plank, inhale. And then exhale, chaturanga, the floor you choose. Or simply straight back to down dog. We're just making our way there and meeting in down dog. This time, right leg with control. Engage the glute. Reach the right leg back behind you. And then right foot comes forward. Crescent with your inhale. Release the hands down. Straighten the front leg. And then soften the front knee, pick up the back leg. Halfway inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, rise up to stand. Pull that left knee up, please. Sink down into chair. Pause in chair. Come into a toe stand, lift your heels up, and then bring your hands down. Stay in the toe stand or bring your knees into your triceps. Don't overthink any of this. Maybe come into crow. You're going to kind of tip the chest forward to lift your butt, and then once your butt comes up, maybe start to lift your chest back up, start to straighten the arms, take the gaze forward, and then chair, inhale. Left knee rises up. And then fold to standing splits. Halfway up. And then crescent. Hands come down. Straighten the front leg. Rebend the front leg. Back to plank. Inhale. And chaturanga or your path to dog. From dog, left leg, from the glute, stretches back, inner thigh lifts, draw the foot down the center, place top of the mat. Inhale, crescent. And then exhale, release the hands, front leg straightens. Soften the front knee, pick up the back leg, and then melt down. Chair, inhale. Stay in chair, come into toe stand, second shot at Bakhasana if you'd like. Lifting off. Good, draw the thumbs toward each other. Feed your body with breath. Back into chair. Right knee lifts up. Hands come into your heart. Tip forward. Right leg extends back. Halfway up, warrior three. From there, if you want, step back to lunge or bring your hands down to the ground. Take a little hop up. And then right foot comes back. Crescent, inhale. Don't worry, there's another shot if that was at all confusing. Release your hands down. Front leg straightens. 
and then soften. Step back to plank, your path to dog. Right leg stretches back, use the glute with control down the center. Crescent inhale. And then straighten and fold. Good. Inhale. Come into warrior three. Keep the hands in fold. Chair and hand. Stay there to a stand or crow again. Back into chair. Left knee rises up, hands into your heart. Push through to fold. Halfway up. Step back to uh, lunge from there or put the hands down, take a little hop. Right foot down, left leg back, crescent. Straighten the front leg, straighten both the legs, and melt. Yes. Soften the front knee back to plank, and then your path to down dog. Inner left thigh lifts, glute engages, left leg back. Place your foot forward. Crescent, pull the feet toward each other to rise up. Straighten the front leg. Hands into the heart, push off the back toes, warrior three. And then bow down. Chair. Stay there, or crow. And then chaturanga. Rising through. And downward facing dog with your exhale. A few breaths here. Feel that rhythm. Inhale, high to your toes. Bend your knees, look forward, feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Dive back down, forward fold. All the breath out. Inhale, halfway. Make your way to downward facing dog. Lift the heels, inhale. Use your toes, bend your knees, look at your hands, feet come toward your hands. Halfway. Fold. Rise. And then fold back down. Heart forward, inhale. Chaturanga, or not, exhale. Lengthen. So good. Downward facing dog. Lift the heels, inhale. All the breath out, look forward, feet to your hands. Halfway. And fold. Rise. Bow down, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Your path to dog. From downward facing dog, left leg back, left leg back, high to the right toes. Look at your hands, bend your right knee, hop your right foot to your hands. Half moon. You're on the right foot, you're facing the left side. So just as we use the glutes to extend the leg in quadruped, in down dog, in warrior three, use the same muscles here in Ardha Chandrasana. It doesn't mean that you're trying to kick your leg back behind you. Instead, it's, you're taking the leg long. Contain the front belly, as opposed to the back belly. Contain the belly. Good, bend the right knee. So 
there's a lean forward. Bend the knee, lean forward, lift up your right hand. Oops. <laughs> and then reach to the back of the mat. Skandasana. Can be high, it's just a nice side lunge in some shape. Good. Come back to the top of your mat. Left hand down. Left heel lifts up. Twist open to the right. So good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Pull the feet toward each other. Very nice. Good. Bring your right hand down to your right foot. Pick up the right toes. Turn to the right. Give a little gentle push into the right inner shin with your right arm. Sink down a little bit, and then lift up, reach overhead. You're pushing into the left, like the pinky side of your left foot, so the left side of your left foot, and then maybe take it back, full vashi sasana. Maybe this right leg floats. Good. Keep your right leg lifted, come through plank, go straight into downward facing dog with your right leg up. Lift high into your left toes. Look forward. Hop your left foot forward. So lift up. Left hand comes out to the left side. Forward. And we're in half mudra. Ardha Chandrasana. Mm -hmm. And so when you hop that foot forward, we're going to do this again. So don't, don't despair if that felt confusing, challenging. You don't really actually have to get the foot all the way up to the top of the mat. It's like part way. So if you do that naturally, fantastic. You are perfect. Wake up this leg. Keep the belly awake. Expand your wingspan. Good. Bend your standing leg. Lean forward. Start to get lighter in your left fingers. And then step to the back of the mat. And then skandasana. So good. This can be anywhere. High, middle, deep. For me, I'm going to just call myself out right now. This is so much easier for me than this. So I'm so happy down here. Like this. So if you think that this is the more advanced version, it's not true. It's not true. So since I called myself out, here I am. Back up. And so find what you need. So this up here might feel easy for you, but down here, this might be like your challenge zone. And I'm not saying you always have to challenge yourself. Some days you just need to like be in it and breathe and not feel like you're physically being tasked in a way that doesn't work. That's why it is your practice and you do what you need to do here. Good, press forward. Twist it open. this right shoulder, prepping this right arm to come into Vashisthasana. We're not going quite yet. You're going to take your left hand down to your left foot, pick up the left toe, turn them to the left and come into the pinky side of your right foot. Sink down a little. And then press this left arm into the left shin, the inner shin. Lift up. Sweep the arm overhead. And then Vashisthasana. center. This time if you'd like to clear it out with a chaturanga vinyasa, go for it otherwise straight back to down dog. Just take a little pause here. We're going to move with that sequence two times on each side. Explore. Allow yourself to be playful. There's no right or wrong. We're just making shapes, truly. I encourage you not to be dogmatic about the postures. Left leg back, inhale. High to the right toes, bend the right knee, look forward, hop your right foot forward. Or just step it forward if that doesn't work. Half moon, open up. 
and then bend the right knee. Lift the hand. Skandasana, back of the mat. Come around. Simple twist. Bring your right hand down to your right foot. Turn the foot, press into the shin, sink down, and then lift up. Find Vashisthasana. Beautiful. Come through center, listen. Right leg stays up if it's okay. If you want, you can wrap it around the left leg, but if you can, keep it up. Work the right hip. We're in plank. Good. Optional chaturanga. Both feet down, up dog. Down dog. Right leg's gonna lift right back up again. High to the left toes. Bend the left knee, look forward. Hop the left foot forward. Half moon. Bend the left knee, lean into it. Pick up the left hand. Skandasana, back of the mat. Yes. Come around. We twist. Release the left hand down. Bring it to your foot. Press it, arm into the inner leg. Turn the toes. Pivot to the pinky toe side of the right foot. Sink. And then lift. And then float that left leg back. And if you can, keep the left leg up. Come through plank. Engage the left glutes. And then chaturanga. Rise up. And downward facing dog. Pause. Left leg comes right back up again. Bend your right knee. Look forward. Hop the right foot forward. Half moon. Bend the knee. Skandasana. Come around and twist. Good. Bring that right hand down. Turn the toes open. Press. Pull the chest through. Sink. And then lift. Right leg stays up. Find that strong plank. Chaturanga. Open up. Good. Come back. Right leg lifts up. Bend the left knee, look forward, hop the left leg up. And then open up half moon. You're amazing, yes. If you're thinking otherwise, it's not true. Bend the left leg, lift that left hand. Skandasana. Take your time, bring it around. We twist. Release the left hand down, turn the left toes, turn the right toes. Press the arm, sink, and then lift. Fine, Vashi. Come through plank. Squeeze that left glute, lower down. Rise up. Dog exhale. Lift the heels, inhale. Bend your knees, feet to your hands. Halfway inhale. Fold, exhale. Chair, inhale. Sink a little deeper. Lift the heart a little higher. Left knee lifts up, rise up. Warrior three, press through. hitting furniture over here. <laughs> Come into standing splits, forward fold, forward fold. Stay there or shift your weight into your hands, bend your right knee, take a couple little hops here or maybe you just find a handstand and you're happy there. All those options. Or maybe you fall over like me. So good. Come back to standing splits. And then bring your hands into your heart. Bend your right knee a lot. Good. Hands come into your heart. Bend your knee a lot. Engage your left glute. Like crazy. Lift that leg up. Take your left arm outside your right side. Ooh, let's twist to the right. Mm -hmm. Good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, Jordan. Yes. And 
and then place your left foot back behind you. Find that deeper twist here. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So this is a great position for hands. If you prefer like one hand here and pressing, but if you want, you can open it up. like wrapping it and you don't feel any suffering when you're there, go for it. Bringing the left hand underneath the right thigh, the right hand behind the back. Check in with your feet. Check in with the energy. Are you drawing the feet toward each other? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Good. Unravel the twist, warrior two. Turn the back toe down. Open up the hip. While still being able to keep the chest broad, the lift of the heart. So I've said this a lot, probably not recently here, but I've actually had it thrown back in my face, which I'm fine with because I stand by it. This is not a back bend. To me, this is a neutral pose. With that said, with that said, today it's a back bend. Bring your left hand to the back of your hips, lean back, and really, whoo, let the chest open up like crazy. So in case you've ever heard me say that, I acknowledge that, but today it's a back bend, because today we can be whatever we want to be. This pose can be whatever we want it to be. One more breath in. Release around, step back to plank. Your choice in how you get to downward facing dog. Just take a pause here, you've got about five breaths. If you need a moment in child's pose or just put your knees down, whatever you need, you've got time. You always have time, even if it seems like you don't, you do. Check in, how's your breath? How do you feel? How do you feel now compared to when we first started? Do you feel lighter? Are you more present? Are you more distracted? There are no wrong answers. If you're ready, you'll come back into downward facing dog. If you are not there, lift your heels, bend your knees. Good. Stay here for a moment. Just lift the hips up and back. So lifting up, Stretching back. This might translate into like a little hop. And then you'll bring your feet up to your hands. Lengthen with the inhale. And fold with the exhale. And then chair. The right knee rises up. And then press through to warrior three. Use the right glute. Remember when standing splits. When standing splits are perfect, you don't have to change anything, but if you want, consider just bending that left knee, taking some hops here, maybe finding a handstand. And then left foot comes back down if you're in a handstand. Pull the heart forward. Bring the hands into your heart. Bend the left knee a lot. Right arm comes outside of that left thigh. And start that twist. Engage your right hip, your glutes, your butts. Use it. Yes, yes, good Lydia, I see you. 
Mm-hmm. And then stepping this right leg back, and we'll take the twist a little deeper. So once we get that second foot down, it's like, oh, yes, here we are, right? This is familiar, wonderful. But don't just muscle your way and feel how, like, the subtlety of when you were unbalanced and it was a really crazy balance pose, how much work there was to stabilize and to find a twist from the musculature as opposed to just driving down into the ground and cranking ourselves into it. Open it up if you want, wrap it if you want, whatever feels good. Warrior two, unravel, yes, beautiful, draw the feet toward each other. straighten the front leg and then just tip over. Triangle. My non-bend, like non-back bending triangle to start. Contain, expand, cross the chest, across the upper back. One knot more than the other. And then right hand comes to the sacrum, low back, and then let it be a back bend, open up. Not just a back bend, but like a little twist even, opening up to the sky. downward facing dog. Your right leg back, inhale. Right knee, left elbow, exhale. Shift forward, shoulders square to the top of your mat, please. Inhale, back. Engage the hip to lift the leg. And then right knee, right tricep. Inhale, back. Squeeze the glute. Exhale, place your foot forward. Crescent pose, inhale. Front leg straightens, bow down so you can keep the arms up. Warrior three, standing splits. We've done all these things. Option to kick it up from here, take it back, vinyasa or not. So you've done every single one of these poses. They're not complex, it's just breath and movement. Left leg back, inhale. Cross to the right. Inhale back. Exhale to the left elbow. Inhale back. Exhale. Knee down the center. Place your foot. Crescent. Inhale. Pull the feet together to rise. Straighten the front leg and bow. Warrior three. Standing splits. Option to take it up, take it back, and move through. So just know that when I say kick it up, I'm not saying like perfect 10, handstand, Olympic quality. It could be like a little hop, just to get that sense of the shift from your feet to your hands. Again, right leg back, in hand. Right knee, left elbow. Little pause, all the breath out. Inhale back. To the right, 
all the breath out, pause. Inhale back. Exhale down the center, place your foot. Crescent, draw the feet toward each other to rise. And then straighten the front leg. Continue following the feet toward each other. Warrior three. Standing splits. Your path back. Down dog. Left leg back, inhale. Cross to the right, all the breath out, little pause. Inhale, engage the hip to lift back. Don't just flail the leg out to the left, exhale. With control, leg back. Place your foot forward. Squeeze to rise, crescent. Straighten and bow. Inhale, expand, warrior three. Exhale, standing splits. Maybe take a hop. And then back to down dog. Walk your hands back to your feet, Malasana. your hands forward. Walk out to plank. Right knee comes to your right elbow. Right foot comes to your left elbow. Lift up higher. Glide the shin toward the floor. Don't put it down. Draw it back up. And then lower it down. Draw it up. And lower down. One more time up. And then release it down. Pigeon. If you need an alternative, you take it. Think of this as a standing pose. Think of this as crescent pose. Draw the legs toward each other to rise up. You don't have to take your arms up though. If you're comfortable doing so, go for it. If not, support yourself. Be safe, be centered. And then start to reach forward. Take your right arm, reach it under your left arm. Look over toward the left. Inhale, draw back to the center. Both arms come forward, lift the heart. Mm -hmm. Draw the legs toward each other, rise up. If it's okay, arms up. If not, don't do it. That's like the simplest motto. If it's not good, don't do it. So simple. It's not, I know, but make it that simple. Bring your hands down, tuck the back toes. Lift the shin back up. And then three-legged dog with control. Take that right leg up and back. Engage the right hip. Bend the right knee. Open the hip. Oh, hello. And then if you want, you can flip this over or just stay where you are. Come around. Keep the right leg lifted. Lower to your belly. Right arm reaches forward. Right leg bends. Left hand reaches back for your right foot. And then we lift up. Squeeze your right cheek. Come to up dog or cobra. And downward facing dog. Adopt your breath. Left leg back with an inhale. Left knee, left elbow. Left foot, right elbow. 
Lift higher, lower down. Lift higher, lower down. Lift higher, and then lower down. And pigeon. Mm -hmm. Think of it as crescent, draw in. Okay, look to the right. forward. Use the legs, rise back up. Bring the hands down, tuck the back toes. And then float that left shin back up. And then up and back, three-legged dog. Open the hip if it feels good, bend the knee, stay there. Or just start to follow that foot around slowly, pivoting to the pinky side of the right foot, left Foot comes down and then into wild thing. Come back around. Keep the left leg with you if it's okay. And then control lower down. Left arm reaches forward, bend the left leg, reach back with your right hand, find your foot. And then float up. Really sit. And then make your way back to down dog. Good. Knees come down to the ground. Hands into your heart, rise up. Contain the belly. Engage your glutes. Lift your heart. This is perfect. Maybe the hands come back to your hamstring. Or maybe your hands come back to your heels. But they might not ever. back to your heart. Rise up. Option, sink back, hips to heels. Hands down, toes tuck. So you can stay hips to heels, thunderbolt, or come here and maybe take a couple hops here for hands down. Knees come back down. Hands back into your heart. Little change up, stay with me. Push your feet down, so toes tucked or toes pointed, you choose. Press your feet down, engage your glutes. So squeeze your butt a little bit, pull your belly in, lean back, keep your belly pulling in. No back bend. Use your butts. Rise up, pressing the feet down, and then sink down, stay there, or hands come down. You get another shot at a handstand or two if you'd like. And 
and knees back down. And then one more time here. I swear a little slit. So we enter the same way we just did. Squeeze your butt. Belly pulls in. Contain the front body. Lean back. Feel the strength in the feet. Feel the strength in the front of the thighs. Reach down. Maybe you find your heels. And then open from there. We're going to come out the way we came in. So, pull the belly in, lean back, press into your feet, and then rise up. And then this time, child's pose, please. Finding a seated wide leg position. Beautiful. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Dig your heels down, bend the knees a little bit, pull your heels toward your hips, activate the hamstrings, keep that, and then press the backs of the legs in the direction of the floor. Good. And then maybe hands to shins, to thighs, maybe behind you to just kind of lift you up. Maybe you glide forward. You come forward, dig the heels down, start to activate the back of the leg. Well, everyone can do that, but especially if you come forward so that you are actually using the legs, using your center to rise back up. And of course, use your hands if you need to, but really finding that was gorgeous. I can't see who that was, but that was beautiful. You know who you are. Bring your foot in. One foot, doesn't matter which one. Gentle pressure, hand to knee, and then lean out to the side. Hand that's at the knee, comes up and around. Breathe into this top rib cage. You can take this bottom arm if you'd like and bring it across. And then maybe top hand finds the foot. It's like a gigantic possibility, but also gigantic non-possibility. Doesn't matter in the slightest. You can find the bottom arm to the opposite knee. You can kind of corkscrew yourself around a little bit here, if that feels good. And then we rise up. And switch. Good. Little pressure. Reach. And then maybe up overhead with this arm. Maybe not. You can explore this the same way we did on the first side, or you can find something new here. Rise up, inhaling. Bring the soles of the feet together. Bhattakonasana. This is little mister, if you don't know him. Now you do. He used to come for yoga more often. He's decided he's elevated and no longer needs to practice with me, apparently. up if you're forward. 
and I'm going to finish today seated in meditation, but if you really would like a Shavasana, if it's strong for you, please take Shavasana. If there's another position you like to end your practice in, that's where you're going to go. And then when you're ready, you'll start to soften your gaze. It doesn't necessarily mean close your eyes. It just means exactly what I said. Soften your gaze. Soften your breath. If you're lying down in Shavasana, you have the luxury of being completely passive in your musculature, in your body. If you're seated, there's a little bit of work to hold yourself up, but do just the bare minimum of what you need to hold yourself up. Let your breath hold you up. Allow your muscles to release and relax that don't need to be working. luxury of time, I encourage you to officially tune me out. If you don't, come back to your breath, come back to your body, feel the ground under you. And if you're not yet seated, make the transition from wherever you are, upright to sitting. And then once you are seated, bring your hands together at your heart. In this last moment together, Truly honoring that you showed up on your mat. Think about what that means, that you showed up on your mat. You give yourself this time. Breathing in together, draw long along the length of the spine. Breathing out together, release the breath, bow your mind to your heart. Rise with your next inhale, let your eyes open gently. Thank you for your practice. Thank you for being here. And if you have any questions,